Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, Ruel Reed under investigation and in sports, National Stadium to be upgraded. Ruel Reed under criminal investigation. Former Education Minister Ruel Reed is now the subject of a criminal investigation. This according to the Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson. At a press conference on Friday, Anderson said although Reed is being investigated, he was unable to divulge too much on the matter. He confirmed to journalists at a media briefing at his office on Old Hope Road that there is an investigation. He, however, had no update. He told them because the investigation is ongoing and a complex one, which involves other agencies, not much info could be given. Suicides up almost 100% in Jamaica. Shocking news for Jamaica in the revelation that suicide has increased by 100% in the country. Police figures indicate that 32 persons have taken their own lives since January 1. Between Tuesday and Friday, there were three suspected cases. 18 suicides were recorded by the police between January 1 and May 9 last year. Jamaica recorded a total of 60 suicides last year. The police figures show. Artist Jador's children trimmed by police and commissioner orders probe. Reggae artist Jador claims he endured the traumatic experience of having his two children, who are homeschooled, being trimmed and given meat to eat by the police. Orthodox Rastafarians are vegetarians. Sharing his story with the Jamaica Gleaner, the artist said a district constable, accompanied by police, turned up at his home in Irish Town to take the children as they allegedly accosted his wife as to why they were not attending school. The singer said he sustained injuries to his left eye and right jaw as a result of trying to defend his wife when they went to the Gordontown police station. Jador said he was hit when a tug of war ensued with him while holding his infant child, the police and his wife. It was then the police hit him in the face before drawing a gun and directing it at him. When the altercation ended, Jador, whose real name is Sean McDonald, said he and his spouse were placed in separate rooms after which he was charged with assaulting a police officer. The Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson, has since ordered a probe into the incident. In a follow-up news report, the police denied trimming the children, saying that their aunt took them to the barber and bought them food. It was also revealed that the aunt was the one who made the initial report. And to sports. National Stadium to be expanded and upgraded. The National Stadium will be upgraded and expanded to accommodate 10,000 more seats. Minister of Sport Olivia Babsy Grange, who made the announcement, said the government has engaged consultants to look into the viability of upgrading not only the National Stadium, but the Trelawney multipurpose one as well. Grange said the National Stadium will have state-of-the-art anti-doping facilities and most of the stadium covered, the bleachers semi-covered. A new Royal Box will be installed, an additional 10,000 seats, and the existing velodrome removed and a new one built. There will also be small conference room facilities so that the stadium will always be in use. The minister made the announcement at the launch of the 2019 edition of the Racers Adidas Grand Prix set for the five decades old National Stadium on Saturday, June 8, 2019. Slain student honored at sports meet. Had Shantea Skyers been alive, she would have been among the athletes competing at the in-sports championship held on Friday. In a touching tribute, lane 2 in class 3, 100 meters for girls, which would have been her lane, was left empty and had a photo and roses placed by her mother there. Skyers coach Philip Anderson described her as having the ability to be another Shelley and Fraser Price as he questioned her untimely demise. The empty lane, a special request from Sports Minister Olivia Babsy Grange, said Skyers was there in spirit and the decision to keep the lane free was intended to honor the young runner and to appeal to the nation for greater effort to protect its children. Jamaica takes second spot in World Relays points table. Although Jamaica did not manage to cop a gold medal at the just-concluded World Relays held in Yokohama, Japan, the team still managed to finish in second position on the points table. Jamaica's women's sprint relay team, which qualified by squeezing into the finals on fastest time, redeemed themselves by taking the silver behind the USA. Jamaica finished the event on 27 points, two silver and a bronze, behind the USA with 54 points. Jamaica has finished second at each of the four stagings of the IWF World Relays, but this year's total is their lowest ever at the championships. 
Well, that's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson, Pleasant Viewing.